Hello there. Welcome again to another edition of Family Worship Night. Today we're continuing our new series called Mad About You, and we're trying to understand anger, where it comes from, how to use it, and most importantly, how to control anger in our lives. You can probably tell that my background and setting is a little different today. That's because I was working on getting my next episode ready, and the power went out. No lights, no computer, no air conditioning on the hottest day of June and possibly the hottest day ever recorded in Spokane's history. I suppose that I would have justification for being a little angry, but thanks be to God, I'm fairly relaxed and trying to be patient and adjust to the situation. I guess that's sometimes what we just need to do. We are cur- uh, certainly prone to our anger flaring up when things go wrong. So let's talk about that today and see if we can get some insight on what helps us to cool down when life heats up. So grab your family and your Bible and let's get going. You know, Proverbs 19.11 says, Good sense makes one slow to anger, and it is his glory to overlook an offense. You know, I think that we often live with the delusion that everything in life is supposed to be fair and just, and most importantly, go exactly the way I want it to. (laughs) But rarely does that happen. You know, actually earlier this morning, I was at home improvement store looking for a part that I needed. There was only one clerk in the appliance department, and there were three people ahead of me. So I was waiting, and another person walked up. It was an elderly man who was rather gruff, and he said, Are you standing in some kind of line waiting for these guys? I said, Well, I don't know about a line, but I know that there are probably three or four of us waiting to talk to the associate. He said, I can't believe it. The most expensive section in the store, and they can't have more than one person to help us. He was obviously upset, and so I thought I'd try to help calm things down by saying, well, I know that he has already called for help a couple of times, but I guess nobody else is available right now. Sounds like the name of the game today is just being patient. Well, that didn't help his mood that much. (laughs) And so he says, I'm too blankety blank old to be patient. I ain't got enough time left. (laughs) I chuckled inside. I thought if I laughed out loud, it wouldn't help much. I suppose there is a little bit of truth to what he said. However, I don't think anger will speed things up, make anybody else available, or make anything better. In fact, anger causes us causes things to make things worse. And I wondered if he really wants to spend the rest of his days being angry. You know, it makes no sense. I guess that's why the Bible says that good sense is slow to anger. Well, let's talk about that a little bit more, but I think we need a word of prayer and then our song for today, and then we'll come back and we're going to look at that verse again in Proverbs. So would you join me as we pray? Our Father, we give you thanks for this day. Even though it's hot and it's got its challenges, I thank you for the day. It's a day to honor you, to worship you, to seek your help in our lives. May you lead us, may your spirit give us wisdom and help us in this area of anger that we might be able to learn how to be wise and to seek you that we can enjoy our days and find the joy that you have prepared for us. So with that, Father, lead us, I ask in Jesus' name, amen. Well, let's worship a little together and then we will come back. Bless the Lord, oh my soul, oh my soul, worship His holy name. Sing like never before, oh my soul, I worship Your Sun comes up. Bless the Lord. 
heard you love Welcome back. Well, let's take a deeper look at that verse in Proverbs before we end out our time together. Perhaps you have had a moment and could look it up. Again, that was Proverbs 19.11. It's a fairly short verse, so it might be a good one to commit to memory. I know I've been working on it in preparation for this video. Proverbs 19.11, it says, Good sense makes one slow to anger, and it is to his glory to overlook an offense. So let's think about that for a moment. First, notice that it is not weakness or cowardice to be slow to anger. No, instead it's quite the opposite. Wisdom and faith are what help us to be slow to anger. When we have a good sense about us, it makes us understand that anger doesn't make things better. In fact, it usually makes things worse. Oftentimes, the thing that makes us feel the most angry is when we feel like things are out of control. When life isn't going the way we want it to, and we feel powerless to do anything about it or change it, it often makes us angry. It makes us feel weak and powerless. And so anger becomes a sort of false sense of power and strength. And we wield our anger to try to feel strong. But the Bible teaches us instead that the wise person realizes that she must accept some things that she can't control and then focus on the productive solutions and do the things that she can do. Now, the second part of Proverbs, uh, is, is that verse in Proverbs says, it is to his glory to overlook an offense. When we're called upon to make sacrifices, we need to remember that Christ sacrificed for us. When we need to forgive others, we need to remember that Christ forgave us. When we need to show mercy and kindness, we need to remember that Christ first showed mercy and kindness to us. You see, the mature Christian understands that in our sin, we deserve the wrath of God, but He has shown us His love instead. This is to the glory of God. And so here in the text, the Bible recognizes that it is to our glory when we show favor to those who perhaps might deserve otherwise. When we turn the other cheek, when we go the extra mile, 
when we are calm and reserved and wise when life has taken an unexpected turn. Perhaps even when we're called upon to love our enemies, we want to show the right spirit and heart instead of anger. You know, this is a measure of the presence of Christ in our life. I don't think that we can say that we are trusting in Him, leaning on Him, becoming more like Him, if we are letting our anger get the best of us. You know, so with that, I'd like to close out our time together with a couple questions that you might consider discussing at home before you finish finish up your own time of worship. First, when is the last time you demonstrated wisdom instead of anger? You know, how did it go? And what happened? Second, how does your relationship with Christ help you with self-control? How does that relationship guide you and change you and help you to handle situations differently? Maybe you could talk about those two questions for a moment and then close out your own time of worship together with prayer and maybe trying to understand your anger and help in overcoming it. But for now, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this time together. Family Worship Night will happen again next week. So make sure that you subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell to receive reminders every time we add a new video. If you found this video helpful in any way, consider sharing the video on your own social media page and encourage others to join us for Family Worship Night. We'll see you again next week.